Hey guys, this is Sarah Ayler here at Softlex Company's booth in the uh, Tucson, Arizona for the To Be True Blue show. And as I promised earlier today, we are going to make some earrings using the magical crimpers. So I'm going to bring you on over here. I want you to be warned. Here are the earrings that we're going to make. I want you to be warned that we are in a live working booth. So there will be people coming in and out behind me and you will hear some things going on. Um, I'm not seeing anybody come on yet. And I usually do by now. So I'm going to give it just another second before I try again. Oh, there's somebody. Perfect. So we're making these earrings today. Except for I'm going to show you how to make them using the magical crimpers rather than a regular crimp with a crimp cover. So it's just going to give you another option for how you can make this type of earring. And by all means, you could do it either way and mix it up. Um, the, the regular crimps with a crimp cover is going to make something bigger like this. Whereas when you're using a magical crimper, it makes a little tiny looking metal bead like this. We're so fortunate to have the inventor of the magical crimpers here at the Tucson show in um, our booth. So I'm gonna definitely have her demonstrate how to use the tool. This is what the tool looks like. This is our demo. You can see we wrote demo all over it so it doesn't walk away uh, from here or accidentally get purchased. Um, so she's gonna come over here in just a minute and show us how to use this great tool. Now, one of the things that she has told me in the past that I think is so neat is that she actually created this tool based on using Softlex beading wire. And um, so it works really well with our beading wire and also really well with our crimp tubes, which are double the wall thickness of most and also seamless. So they're really thick and strong. And again, we have so many different colors that really you can do a lot of really awesome things with these crimping pliers. So if you get a chance, give me a shout out. Let me know who's out there, where are you from? And um, we'll get her over here so that we, she can show us how this works. <clears throat> so let's say hi to Josephine. Hey Josephine, how are you doing today? I'm excellent. Hi Sarah, how are you? Thank you for having me. Oh, we're so thankful to have you in the booth this year. You have been a godsend um, showing everybody how to use these amazing crimping pliers. And you guys, she has been selling them like crazy. Hotcakes. <laughs> like hotcakes, seriously. <laughs> One lady asked for her autograph on her tool package. Three. Well, <laughs> Three and ladies. another lady bought six of them. So it's been really fun having her. She's got a lot of good energy. So for those who didn't see our video the other day, what made you want to make the magical crimpers? Well, I was uh, shopping in a grocery store and I was handing the clerk some money for my groceries and my bracelet fell off. And, and who's when I, had that experience? Yeah, I think we all have. And I, I picked it up and looked at it, and the wire had come out of the of the crimp bead, and it was all frayed. And that got me started because I wanted to design something that was strong and looked professional. And and um, so I I started designing this. What started it? And how many years did it take to like really get this out on the market from when you came up with the idea and when you actually put it out there? Well, um, I looked for um, somebody to make it in the United States and um, then I got a business partner and from the time that we decided we wanted a patent on it, it took three and a half years for the patent and then um, we found a manufacturer and it all went from there. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Imagine working on a project for that long to make it happen. I want to show you guys something really awesome, which is Josephine's necklace. And if we get real close, you'll see she's actually used the magical crimper to attach. And this necklace is just gorgeous. It's so beautiful and sparkly. Um, but imagine, like, it looks like just a little bead. People have no idea how this is even put together. Isn't that awesome? Hey, Cindy. Cindy says hi to Josephine. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Karen from California and Cindy from Columbus, Georgia and Carlene and uh, Holly from Nebraska. Thanks for being here, guys. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and flip over and I'm going to let you guys see Joseph use these crimping pliers. We got to flip this way. Sorry, guys. And we'll flip down. And there you go, Josephine. Take okay. it away. So we're using the medium soft flex. This is the pink because I like to demonstrate in color. And we're using the two by two crimp bead. I've looped it around just to just to demo it for you. And this is the tool. And it has a little circle on both sides. So the first step is to put the crimp bead inside the circle, squeeze it, open up the tube, turn it 90 degrees and squeeze it again. Now this is where it really starts making the ball. You open it, turn it slightly and squeeze it, open it, turn it slightly and squeeze it. And as you squeeze, it does two different things. It gets the ball tight, as tight as it possibly can around the wire and it also starts making it into the ball shape. And there it is. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little test on here. And I'm just going to... You guys, she is <sighs> really pulling on that. And it doesn't come loose. Isn't that awesome? So it's really strong, but it also looks really good. I want to show you guys what it looks like in the package. So this is what a brand new one would look like. And what's really cool is there are actually instructions on the back. So if you forget what Josephine said, or you need um, to figure out just the steps one more time, it shows you exactly how to do it. And I'm sure Josephine probably wrote these instructions. I did. Because um, she really worked closely with the manufacturer um, to make sure that these tools are a really good quality tool. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to uh, definitely point out is that these tools can be used with any of our three diameters of beading wire, 0.014, 0.019 or 0.024. I'm going to show you the 019 today, and that's what Josephine was showing you here. Um, but you can use it with all of the different diameters, so there's a lot of great options. So let's jump in and make a pair of earrings real fast. And this is actually a pair of earrings that I originally made in the Earring Projects booklet. And um, originally, I didn't have the magical crimpers, so instead, I used a regular crimp and a crimp cover. And so I was curious, and I'll just kind of go through here so you can see some of these projects. I was curious to see what would it look like um, with just the magical crimp rather than uh, the crimp with the crimp cover. So we're going to get a length of wire here, and I'm using the medium. And I'm going to use the turquoise color, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead because I have plenty of wire. I'm going to cut free a piece, but normally I would work off of the spool. Um, I'm just doing kind of a long length that I know will be long enough. If you want to buy a pair of magical crimpers, you can find them on our website. You can also find the booklet, the wire, the crimps, everything that you need to make what we're doing today. And our website is www.softlexcompany.com. If you're not familiar, um, that's the place to go. Janine asks, I have this crimper. All of my crimps say they are a number two. Can I use the crimper with them? You know, I'm not sure what number two designates. I would assume it designates a two by two crimp tube. And yes, you can definitely use them with a two by two crimp tube. The one thing I would warn you about is there are some chintzy crimp tubes on the market. So you wanna make sure you're getting a good quality crimp. And what I mean by that is you want crimps that have double the wall thickness or real thick walls. And you also want crimps that are completely seamless because a lot of them start out as a flat sheet and they roll them and there's a seam and then they plate over the seam and you can't tell the difference and um, they're cheap and they break. So you want to have a good quality crimp because you do use quite a bit of force with that magical crimper to get it set into the nylon coating. Okay, so to make a pair of earrings like this, we're going to kind of break it apart. Look at it like this instead because it's two layers 
that are just sitting on top of each other. And I'm going to make this very first one about the same size. As you can see, I'm just sort of eyeing it out. And this is such an easy earring, you guys. You're going to love it. So I'm going to do the same thing Josephine did for anybody that's new. I'm just finding the very center of the magical crimpers. And I'm going to cinch down. And what happens is it pinches the four corners, which sort of look like a little ravioli. And then I turn it on its side in that same center of the magical crimper. And then you just go around it several times. Josephine has suggested to me about six times to make sure it's all really rounded and cinched into that nylon coating. You want it nice and tight. So now to do the next step, it's really easy. This is like a ladder stitch. So I'm going to string my two by two millimeter crimp tube on one of my wires. And then I'm just going to send the wire from the opposite side back in and just cinch it down to this other circle. And I'll get it to the right size now. So I'm looking to do about the same size as this. Got to pull on this side, even it out. You want it to be pretty even and round so your crimp falls at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty close. So that looks good to me where it's almost like we're making a snowman here. So I'm working on his middle section. So I'm going to do that same thing. And if you wanted to add beads, you guys, you could totally do that. You're just going to string them on before you go into the crimp tube. And you could add beads to both sides if you wanted to. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom of the snowman. Hey, Sharon, thanks for joining us today. I'm glad you made it. So I'm going through the crimp tube on one side, back through in the opposite direction on the other side, and then I'm cinching it down. And again, I kind of want to match about the same size. That looks pretty good right in the middle. And then I'm going to take my magical crimpers and crimp. And about six times, so I want to get it nice and round. When I've got this first piece done, all I have to do is take my really lovely cutters and get in close. Nicole says, it doesn't have to be perfect. You really haven't met some of my customers. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, Nicole. But you know what's great about handmade is that it's not perfect. And I think that's actually what makes it kind of special is it's sort of unique um, to the designer. And I kind of like things when they're a little imperfect. But I totally understand striving for perfection. I do, I do that for sure. And you could definitely use a measure. I think the pattern itself, and you'll have to forgive me, I'm losing my voice because I've been doing nothing but talking for three days. <laughs> so the pattern itself in the booklet has measurements. You know, I just always fly by the seat of my pants. So those measurements are based off me doing something like this, I'm sure. Um, but that gives other people that do want more of a perfected circle uh, an idea of what that's going to look like. So I'm going to quickly do the second layer. And it's the same idea again. I've got my crimp tube on my wire. I've got my wire back through so it makes a big circle. I'm going to cinch that down to the center. And I'm going to eye my top out here. And I'm going to crimp and crimp. Go around it a few times, getting it all nice and tight. And then I'm going to do that same thing again. And I only have to do one more layer on this side so it'll be nice and quick. You can hear it's starting to pick up behind me in the booth. So um, there are some folks coming in at the end of the day here. We close up at 6 o'clock today here at To Be True Blue. The show is open until Saturday. Um, I have been shopping like crazy on my breaks. 
Um, but I will be glad to go home to my family tonight. I'm very excited to see my little girls. So, um, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and crimp. I got my little... My little ravioli is the first step. You can see those four corners. That's what you're looking for in that first step. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. And I wanna go around it enough times that it gets nice and round and tight because you're cinching it into the nylon coating of the wire. And then all I have to do is snip, snip. And I actually don't even have an extra ear wire here. So I'm just gonna take this one off so we can see what it looks like together. Always flying by the seat of my pants, guys. Here we go. Okay, so we got it all together and there is our earring and you could totally add seed beads or crystals or whatever ever you would want to make it extra special for you and your customers and your friends. Um, so I am going to finish up here for the day. Um, thank you for joining me. Let me flip this camera so I can say bye. Guys, thank you for joining me again, and thank you for joining me for the last three days. It's been great to share my experience with you guys here um, in Tucson, and I'm glad that you guys all got to meet Josephine and learn more about the Magical Crimpers and the Knitting Spool yesterday, um, but I'm, I'm heading home to take a break now because I've been working like crazy, um, so I'm looking forward to see my family tonight, and I hope all of you are out there doing well. Um, and I, yeah, I'll see you guys not this week, but next Thursday. I have a design challenge planned with Tierra Cast. I already have the package. I tried to avoid their booth as much as I could, so I don't know what's in there because it's brand new product that they showed here at Tucson. Um, so I'll see all of you later. Bye, Sue. Bye, Judy. Bye, Cheryl. Bye, Holly. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.